Dylan Mulvaney says that he wants to be a mom one day and he definitely can be. And that's his right. And here's the thing. You can't. You can't be a mom. That's not reserved for you. It's not. Truly, it's not. And it, and that's the thing that I, I think really set women off is the fact that he desperately wants to be a woman that he desperately is is um trying like so hard he's doing so much like he's doing the most right now he's doing the absolute most to try to become a woman and try to get the approval of society and i was talking about this with one of my subscribers actually and she mentioned to me she was like don't you find it ironic and i actually posted a um why isn't this working? Um, I actually posted a shorts about this too. And I said, it's ironic that the media is pushing out this narrative that trans women be can become mothers and it's empowering to do so, right? It's an empowering thing for trans women to become mothers, that statement. Yet on the other hand, they're telling biological women that it's empowering to abort their own babies so that they can advance in the world and that they can advance in their careers. So let me get this straight. It's only empowering to be a mother. Motherhood is only empowering for trans women. That's it. Because when I talk about motherhood, I'm called all sorts of things. I'm a housewife. I'm all sorts of things. I'm. It's such a negative connotation to someone that says, oh yeah, I'm a housewife. Oh, I submit to my husband. But if Dylan Mulvaney said he submits to a man, game over, the freaking trad cons won the game. Trad cons won the game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Someone says, um, Rare Cuisine says, Rebecca, would you call Dylan what Dylan is doing misogyny. Yeah. It's hatred of women. He's mocking women, 100% mocking women. Let's see. The world is so crazy in 2022. Yes. It's getting crazier. It's gr getting crazier, but that's why I speak here. That's why Ali speaks. That's why Pearl speaks. That's why I, you know, band with these women because honestly, it's crazy world out there. And it started with, it started with putting men down, right? Putting men in a corner and saying that you don't belong in the conversation and essentially exiling men to their own island. They said, you don't belong here. You don't have a say. You can't make decisions. Everything is blaming the, the man, the white man, right? Literally five years ago in feminist spaces, every conference that I went to was it's the man's fault you don't get money. It's the man's fault you're not getting promotion. It's the man's fault. So, okay, we did that. Men have fallen behind. They put on the back burner. They've been disenfranchised. And now it was time for women, right? So all of the trans women started going into athletics. We started invading women's spaces. Then taking away, stripping us, biological women of terms that are specific to us, mothers, and they replace it with caregivers, chest feeders, birthing persons, parent, all of these like ambiguous terms, like what, like why, right? And now they're trying to attack the children. They are putting out drag shows for children. They're allowing children to transition in earlier and earlier years of life. So what is happening, right? The overarching theme is that they want to destroy the nuclear family. They want you as a, a singular person, gender X, person X, consumer X. That's what they want for society. Because if you have no loyalty to family, if you have no loyalty to anything, right? Think about, um, Game of Thrones, right? If you don't have a loyalty to a flag, to a kinship, to a family, you have nothing. You have absolutely nothing. And they know that they can manipulate you. And 2020 was a great sign of that, right? They wanted to test the waters. Who could they manipulate? Who didn't fall into that? 
And now we're living in a time that's attacking the entire family. If you looked at the BLM movement in their mission statement, it says, we want to destroy the nuclear family. If you talk to feminists and in like the feminist feminist groups, you would see that their number one mission is to destroy the nuclear family. Why? Why do all these ideologies, why does Marxist ideology want women or why they want people to be individual? It's because it's they're easier to control. They are easier to manipulate. They're easier to be a consumer and to feed into this. And this and this is why I'm like, if y'all really hate capitalism, then don't feed into this stuff, right? Don't feed into the Ulta beauties. Don't feed into the social media stuff. But no, this is exactly like, it's a huge contradiction, a huge contradiction. But, you know, the world that we're living in, it, it, it's scary, but we as individuals, like we as a, I mean, not individuals, but like as a collective here, we have to stand up to this because if we allow the Dylan Mulvaney's and these other trans activists to continue to do this and not speak up about it, then we're just continuing to perpetuate a sh shitty society because that's where we're going. Like, it's already going there, right? Like a lot of people already say like, I don't want kids because I don't want them to grow up in this world. The government needs you to buy into this. They need children to buy into us. This is why they prop up Dylan Mulvaney. They have, this person has 8 million subscribers, 8 million followers on TikTok, right? Why? They know TikTok has all of the kids on it. 60%, someone had put in the chat, 60% of their demographic is between the ages of 16 to 25. Pure insanity. Pure insanity. All right, let's catch up on the chat. Oh, I just went on a rant. <laughs> uh, this whole thing is wild. Dylan seems like a sweet person, but blatant misogyny that he's allowed to get away with, uh, with purely for the sake of ideology. Crazy. This is sickening. Absolutely. <laughs> I quit my job and bought a cabin. Have fun, y'all. I'm out. Yo, I'm at, I've been talking to James. I'm like, we need a homestead. I want to grow a crap ton of food. I want to be a doomsday prepper. I want to stock my pantry and have cows and chickens and all of these different things because, you know, it's crazy out there. Jason says, grown men putting wigs to fight females in, M in MMA, knocking their eyeballs, eyeballs loose. Absolutely. It's insane. The family is the biggest threat to a free society. You nailed it. You nailed it. I would love to see a Blair White debate with Dylan. Me too. Me too. I would pay to see that. Let's, y'all, I don't know what just happened to the chat. <laughs> Are we still live? Am I still here? I don't know what happened. Am I back? Am I still live? Rebecca, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Y'all, I, I have no idea what happened to the chat. I had no idea. Um, see, they want me off. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah, that's crazy that it's in their mission statement. It seems like they just want to alienate any traditional values left out there. Yeah, they don't want traditionalism because they know that it's they can't get followers. They can't manipulate their followers, uh, people to join their movement. Um, let's see. Moving away from the nuclear family was a failed experiment. Children are suffering the most women, not far behind and men are heavily affected as well. The nuclear family needs to come back. I agree. We need to reinstate the nuclear family. Honestly, I, this is what I advocate the most here on my channel is the, uh, is advocating for the nuclear family. So yeah, guys, if you guys haven't liked the video yet, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel.